this sounds really good. Bro, I'm so in love with this keyboard. I'm legitimately so in love with this keyboard right now. Uh, dude, I actually, it looks so good. It legitimately looks so good. Lick the snake. Bro, I didn't even get to build this yet and I already gotta do something sus. You guys happy? I already have to do something sus. That was a bit aggressive. Can you redo it a little bit more sexy and gentle? Okay. I don't know if we're doing that. That was quick. Okay, guys. Yeah, dude, I'm pumped for this keyboard. Guys, we have a combination of like such good parts today. Okay, cool thing about these. I double checked. These are actually pretty decent uh, loops. Like I wouldn't have changed these at all. Um, so I'm pretty excited to give these pre-lubed Akko switches a go here. Cause apparently, and from what I understand, they're exactly the same as K to T roses, the same mold, or I guess K to T manufactures them or something. But uh, pretty nice. Springs are pretty good in these too. I don't know if I'd spring swap, probably would in the future, but give them a go for now. But my God, like, let's just take a quick second. Also, they, they give me this tote bag too. This tote bag's actually kind of cute from Parallel Design. I really like this. Can we take like one quick second though? Um, but look at this board, man. This board is beautiful. Beautiful little side profile going on there. Look at the curves there. Inset USB, it's very deep. I think obviously this is the uh, main thing of the keyboard. Isn't that nice? It has a few fingerprints from myself, but isn't that beautiful? I have to admit, man, again, in a world of keyboards where they all start to like blend together, it's kind of refreshing seeing something like this. I know it's on the bottom, I know it's on the back. Um, it is definitely a higher price point. Again, I would assume so, but very, very good quality on this, like A plus. And we have some different plates here too. So this is gonna be interesting. I don't know what we're gonna use. I don't know what we're gonna use today though. Let's see the PCB here. Pretty no frills here. I am gonna go split. Actually, no, I'm gonna do full backspace, I think. It's like, this just reminds me of like, um, I don't know, it has like an old school, like biker jacket feel to it. You know what I mean? Like an old school, like leather jacket, kind of like you're going bike. I don't know, it's like that old school kind of feel. I like it, it looks cool. I'm just, I'm really into the, um, just like these, like this whole shaping on the side. Like it feels good in the hand. It's pretty nice. Flip it up sound, yeah, yeah, I see that. Pretty cool, a lot of thought, I can see a lot of thought went into this keyboard. <sighs> what plate do we use? A part of me wants to use Alu, is this Palm? I don't know if this is Polycarb or Palm. Is this Polycarb? But a small part of me also really wants to keep this like, I wanna keep this like blacked out. And a small part of me wants to do PC. Just cause, I, and strictly because I think this would be super cool. It would look good. I think we're gonna do, I think PC is the thing today. I think we do PC. Let's do Polycarp. Blackout baby, let's go. How can I lube 110 Holy Pandas quickly? <laughs> Put on your favorite TV show and just go from there. Literally just grab your favorite TV show, put it on. Maybe watch an anime or something. Dude, these are Akko uh, matcha switches. And I ordered, I ordered a bunch of the Akko switches. These ones here in particular, they are the pre-lubed variants. Makes, oh, there's a longer screw and a shorter screw. Never mind. I think the longer screw goes in the back. Yeah, that makes more sense. There's two different lengths here. Okay, I don't remember which one's which. A light blue is 38, dark blue is 40. So I'm gonna use dark blue. I actually like the higher durometer here, like a lot more than I like the um, uh, lighter ones. I've always liked these ones here. All right, let's plug this in. I did notice that this plate only supports, oh, that's kind of unfortunate, I guess. This plate only supports regular caps lock. I'm not too sure why that is, but the PCB does support 
step caps. Mm, hold on a second. There we go. We got it. Oh, it's a gummy O-ring that makes it a thousand times more badass? Yes. I think I mentioned earlier, these are matcha greens? Yes. Oh, this looks pretty nice for it. A little a little bit too saturated um, to match this particular case, but it's okay. I'm, I'm still happy with this. Make sure you put the O-ring halfway down uh, not um, on the blockers. If you go too low, you'll miss the post. Yeah, I, I made sure, I just got those posts now. I just lifted it back up. All right, let's open this guy here up. Brand new keycaps, hell yeah. This is a, definitely a very pretty set. Trays are good, yes, trays are good now. They're, uh, they redesigned their trays for this. Ooh, this looks good with this. Yo. Okay, Polybia slaps on this. That looks really good, actually. This looks really good with this keycap set, though. Oh yeah, dude, that looks so good. Okay, Polybius slaps on this. There's that snake again. This sounds really good. Honestly, please don't stop. Damn. That does sound really good. Yeah, it, it's a beautiful looking keyboard. It's a little bit more on the expensive side, like because of all this stuff on it, basically. Like you're, you're paying obviously because of the, the quality. I know there's a lot of fingerprints on it right now for me working on it, but the quality of this is like outstanding. It is literally flawless. Um, but yeah, I think I think this is a beautiful keyboard. I personally, like I've tried a lot of uh, the sequence, like the sequence and a lot of parallel boards. I like the heavier O-rings in all of them. No desk pad test, it seems to be very common. You guys want that lately. Let's try no desk pad, although this doesn't have feet on it. So this is gonna be interesting. I gotta be careful not to like ruin it. <sighs> Dude, I've been liking no desk pad way more, bro. I've been liking no desk pad way more. Like so much more lately. It just sounds so good. I am like super happy with this set on this. Polybius is the way. Very, very nice. The switches are good. The only thing about the switches I would personally swap out is the springs. I can definitely feel like they did a good job. Like the factory did a good job of lubing these springs. I, I'm personally though, I'm, I'm very used to using like the nicer TX springs and just like springs that I usually am used to. And I think I would prefer those springs inside this, but this definitely feels like a, a KTT switch. It, it literally does. It feels like I just put KTT switches in here that already came pre lubed for me. Like if I didn't tell you guys that I didn't lube these, would you have guessed? Again, being completely honest, the switches themselves, pretty good quality. Um, they are three pin, however, I will say the springs in them, little, little to be desired with, uh, for me anyways, fantastic, very consistent lubing though on their pre lubed series. Um, I have no quarrels with these. I would probably continue to purchase these. They're, they're not very expensive, uh, completely not at all. Like they're really, really good. And then you, and if you want, you can just buy yourself different springs, but this is how they sound with their pre lubed factory ones in hand. Again, you can sort of hear like it's not the best quality spring, but uh, pretty nice. I really like it. You don't even really recognize that spring inside the keyboard once you have everything assembled too, which is cool. 
price to goodness ratio is insane. Yeah, it's it's actually insane. It's incredible. It's incredible how like little these things cost. So would you rate this higher than the same level as the roses? I would rate them the same. Like they, they definitely feel like roses. This is definitely gonna be on regular rotation for me with Polybius. Like it feels good. It feels good and it's a nice little 60 and I love my, myself some like nice little 60s. I'm, I'm liking it dude, it's nice. It's very nice. I like it, I like it a lot, I like it. Take care guys, love you. Talk to you guys very, very soon.